What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States. So in this episode we are continuing our assault on the Russian frontier, and this time we are engaging in Kiev. So we're drawing in, we're well, fighting against this garrison, and we're also drawing in this army here, which is currently located at this crossroads, which is severely depleted. So without further ado, let's crack on. So last part we had sieges, um, but that was for the for the centenary. Okay more than six year um, campaign that's been going on considering I've started um, playing this game well just doing YouTube in general over multiple years so I don't think we're gonna get quite that many in this time but I think it would be good to get a couple in at least Add. <laughs> Spread my batteries out a bit now. It's got houses firing one. No, these guys firing for a breach here. These guys firing for a breach here. Let's keep my household cavalry ready. Get my marines, line infantry guards, and two units. These guys are going to be deployed over here and then to protect my guns and my actual like to protect well, actually what I might do is do a bit of no I was going to think about placing my placing stakes but I don't think it'll be necessary let's just put some household cavalry on either flank they do look rather good and then having my general in the centre cool You guys hit there, you guys hit that. Artillery, because they have mortars. Oh, but we are out of range. So yeah, these guys can just continue to cut carry on quick climbing. Quick climbing the defenders wherever they are. Tsar guards. These chaps with the red red coats, or the red I don't know what you would call that. Undershirt. And these are Russian Fusiliers. The 82nd foot, 45th foot guards. Here comes some militia. File like armed citizenry. This goes doing outside. 45th Regiment of Militia. Aren't you up on the wall? Here come their reinforcements. So these will spice things up a bit. Actually, what I might do is. Put fire with both of them for a moment. Put my line infantry in a position to help defend. And I want to get my. get my um, light infantry to run up into position and deploy stakes because I've got a nasty feeling if they get lots of cavalry they might try and yeah they're already coming so these guys are ready for stakes for stakes actually you stay in the center no actually you do go out here on the flank. Mainly I'm concerned about them charging my guns. So here comes some quick climb shots. Slight miss. Want to go on the one right there. They are coming out. Okay. Re-engage my artillery. Artillery. 
though. Again, they should be, they'll be out of range and you'll lob your shells before that becomes a problem. Actually, no. Shrapnel shot that regiment of horse. one volley. Good. I didn't really want to waste my stakes against such a small defeatable unit. Oh, they are firing their mortars. So who are they engaging with those? They're just, they're just frustrated. So I'm definitely going to quick land that garrison unit, but these, this cavalry is what I would like to have a pop at. Artillery coming on the left. Three pound a horse, twenty four pound a foot. They're either going to get caught up in my assault. Good, lots of losses. So it's so I definitely do want to quick climb this unit because that is asking for a lovely, lovely shot. shrapnel into the breach then just keep firing so they are charging there's 63 of them and then when my light horse jumps into it they should do a lot of damage and my light infantry fire I'm not going to get caught by the edge of my stakes just yet, but I suspect. So how goes my chances? My no, my quick my no my shot's doing quite well. My canister shot, okay. are probably going to engage. Oh god, that quick land is absolutely obliterated them. <coughs> Okie dokie, I think now's the time. Advance on a very broad front. These guys go for the Streltsy. Yeah, they're going to go for this engagement here, which is understandable. The 
more likely to kill more of their men than mine. Well, no, more likely to kill more of my men than theirs. I don't want to spend forever. Okay, quick climbs coming in. Huge numbers, so. I'm gonna kill a bunch of my own men in that charge. Troop is dead. And let's also advance up these guys. both of them to start working on their own shop. Let's get my line tree up here to start scouting or we'll start harassing the breach. Just climb over the gate. Why don't I just charge into him? It's the easiest thing to do. Is going to go in that way. Ah, here comes their reinforcements. Getting up there. They're all getting up there. They can't. <clears throat> they don't want to relocate them. Knocked up one of the guns, which is nice. Let's get the marines around on the flank to start harassing them. They're going to be outnumbered, but when these guys have managed to climb the gates, climb the walls, then we will have a significant amount of artillery support. Okay, they're not like 
blocking that. So why don't I just not do it? Why don't I just do that? into a combat, they're going to get into a combat and find it's a bunch of marines they're up against. Is that everyone? It's not everyone, you've still got it. Run this unit of household cavalry through. Run you into, into the Ural of Cossacks. Let's run you into the Tsar Guards as well. And this unit of Marines could well end up being destroyed, but they will kill many of their number. Firstly, quick grab this section of the wall. You get the howitzer. You garrison that section, this section of the wall, and try and fire down into the Marines combat, even though there's not many of them left. Get them both into here. This goes along onto the Tsar Guards. Cavalry staying on the mortar, we're going straight on into the full line, we may as well engage them. Good to have secured this wall, so let them waste their time going to capture it. Well, the Tunian Marines, even though they've taken a huge pounding, oh. uh, we're all targeting the wrong unit, but that's okay. Let's get my light infantry into this. These guys passed. They can go take him on. Now you get inside the armory because you can fire into the rear of the militia. Oh, they're trying to take out this general's bodyguard. The mayor's will just go for him. This unit up to go fire into the center. House of Cavalry doing an admirable job tying these chaps up. Getting my light infantry. 
trees beginning to have an effect. Target the militia. Shooting going on. Yeah, just run away. Then just engage this guy, these guys, with. Should I send a round shot? Going to support this combat volley. God, I see such a limited amount of combat. This is just crapping itself. Stuff like that. Just for him. Just go for him. With my marines. I'm just executing these guys by firing squad. It's <laughs> boring foot infantry. They're not, going to, they're not going to retreat because they're all on the they're on, they're on the square. Here comes the fusiliers, so let's put you over here because those Russians are coming in. And let's take you and you. Run you up. More howitzers, more cooked. I would have been better. They're wavering because of the front. Twenty two guys left. Sometimes it can be stuff like those guys just breaking it because they're trying to like move through the gate, their unit's trapped and Okay, let's test that theory. If I run my household cavalry out turn off your shooting. Seventeen of them should be. Yeah, pass on cavalry's gone. Just get in there and assault them. Loath to include in combat, but a big part of it is oh, chances I expect they're probably yeah, they're charging into the wall. And it really hates that. <laughs> Turn it off, you guys. 
Jesus. Good, and you charge down into this combat too. I don't think that regiment of foot come in to make to matter a whole lot. In fact, let's take you guys. You and you hit the first first regiment of foot, not just, not just any puny regiment, this is the first. Don't make ready. You test this. You test this. Um, this artillery theory. Let's take out this Euro Cossack. There's only one of him. So it'd be nice to to remove him from the equation completely. There we go, now it's all lovely again. God, why? Who's hitting? It's not my heart, my heart is not firing. They must have some artillery somewhere. Secure the gate. Oh, you go into him. straight into me. Fair enough, but in 28 seconds it will not matter, for victory will be ours. And you just stay out of the way, General. Yes, Ooh, the whole making a break for at the walls. It does not matter. Victory is ours. You're too late, first regiment of foot. Far too late. Sweet. So that was Kiev. Very, very useful. Oh, Edmund Burke. Edmund Burke at it again. Cool. But that's Kiev secured. And this army denatured. So let's repair. And replenish. At the risk. Send you on to go finish that stack off. Proud and victorious. Waiting for Ready your for order. Good. And replenish you. And you do not have anything really cool. So you're replenishing you. Can't go anywhere. But you're gonna move up to Tula farmland. You can move up to probably more over here. You move on to Orel Mines. You're all on your way towards Minsk. Then we're down here. 
against Chesak, but that's more of a pitched battle, and by the looks of it, it will be a fairly... That's a fairly naff one, really. So I'm just going to do that. Victory is ours. Let's do that. Let's build walls, because may as well. No walls, no, no fun. Oh, and here's a Russian army. Sweet. Then I'll get chewed up. Your orders. Let's get a spy to infiltrate spy. Darky. And this Prepare army will move on Yevgeny Iltenchen, Il Ilchenko. But looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of his part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the assault on, on, on Armenia. Although it looks like they have no defences. It will be a regular pitched battle. And a very elite general involved as well. Cool. Right, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.